Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Built. My name is Kelly. No, I'm Trevor. And today Trevor is getting an upgrade to an upgrade. Yeah, from Diode Dynamic. New fog lights, stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Trevor again has gone back to Diode Dynamic for another upgrade. What are you getting this time? So on this one, I got the SS3, um, the LED pods. It's the full kit, replacing the entire fog light housing and everything with a sealed unit. Now, I've already done one upgrade to my fog lights. I had the, man, what were these? The, the SV3s? S SV4s, I want to say they are. These things are very nice uh, LED upgrades and everything. I have the exact same lights, except uh, these are the amber lights. I have the regular lights as my high beams. They're great bulbs. However, in the fog light housing underneath with all the, the cutting and everything, the trimming that I had to do, uh, there seems to be a lot of ingress of dirt and everything into the back. and. The, the LEDs have a fan to actually keep the whole system cooled while going and it has just become really loud and they're still functioning, they're still 100% operational but you can actually like really hear the fans even while inside the vehicle. So what I decided because of just the, the open nature of that area and how low it is um, picking up all that dust to get a sealed unit. And that's where Diode Dynamics kit comes in. Diode Dynamic has really been killing it with the game of lights. They've been around for a while. We've seen them at SEMA a couple times. The output and wattage on these lights are super, super nice, clean, bright, a big beam pattern if it calls for it, a nice tight pattern if it needs to be. And they are all assembled in America. Uh, the housing is all aluminum and all of the wiring is super simple, especially the kit that Trev got. Yeah, so it actually connects factory into a little DT plug that plugs into the light. So super easy, uh, I mean. Nearly plug and play. Nearly. Nearly. <laughs> all right, let's get these lights in this truck right here. Do it. We just got the passenger side done off camera and we were doing a side-by-side -side comparison and the driver's side old whatever those were the sv4s yeah they are just terribly loud trev was tapping on it to try to make the sound go away <laughs> and it just got worse and then quieter and then worse and quieter so yeah those lights they're about done yeah and they also just dim down too um, and I know LEDs are only supposed to like either they work or they don't work, but these actually like dimmed. So uh, luckily I got them through Headlight Revolution, uh, which is a great company. So they have a great warranty. Uh, should have no problem getting replacements and everything else. Before we get into the install, we want to do a pre-install. And that is going to just put in the housing uh, together with the uh, little harness and everything else. It's really simple, but we're gonna hit it real quick. In this example, this is the driver's side. So this angle goes like this, center bumper, curbside over here, driver's back here. The DT connector is on the bottom. First thing you wanna do is take the nuts and they are uh, nylon lock nuts and you drop them in to the little self-capture thing on each side. Oh, flipped it. Dang it. Ah, all right, there we go. On the mounting hardware, it's extremely easy. It has a left hand, which is going to be the driver's side, and it just slips right on it, such as that. The holes line up through there. After that, then it's just taking the supplied stainless hardware. Oh man. Easy one more time. One more time. All right. 
Then it's just taking this applied mounting hardware, stainless steel, and putting it in. And you can use a little Allen. And this is a 532nd size. And then, oh, son of a. <laughs> 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 oh, you doing all right there? God <laughs> dang. Ha ha. <laughs> Success. And this wrench and just tighten it up. Put the DT plug in and then it's ready for install and then it's just going to get plugged into the factory. Great job. Boom. When installing, because it's really cramped under there, it's going to be hard to show uh, on the vehicle. So this was the passenger side. And it, these two brackets here slip in here and then two screws hold the whole housing in place. And that's it. And it's actually a really secure hold. And that is the exact same way that the uh, diode dynamics brackets line into. So let's get them put in. Step one for this is to remove the factory light or in my case the uh, SV4 light and it's really simple just a quarter turn to the left and it pulls right out and in my case I also had a uh, man what is this thing it's called a zip tie no <laughs> um, whatever this thing is it keeps it from uh, flashing yeah anti-flicker device yep then on the connection it is just pushing this button up and pulling down and it comes right off and that's your factory connection next step is to uh, unscrew the two screws um, and on both of them they're on the outside of the housing so for driver side they're on the left for passenger side they're on the right really the only tool that you need for the head or the fog light assembly is a little screwdriver. Little Phillips head, it's all you need. Two screws, super easy. But it is kind of awkward. Two screws. Did you get them both out? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then, super easy. Boom. And then it is just popping it out because the screws. The screws are on this side, so you just want to pop it out and then it'll slide right out of the inserted tabs there. That's it. So the install, same thing in reverse. Put the housing in and then screw it in. All right, guys, before we wrap up this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. It really does help Adventure Built grow. Now, for a couple pro tips on installing these lights. Attention, importante. Mas importante. Mas well. importante. So they have a little card in here for proper alignment. The bottom of the light should not be flush against the plastic ring um, of the housing. It should actually have a gap in between it and that is ensuring it's angled down and not straight forward. Because um, remember, these are fog lights. These are not um, spot beams or anything else. Right. They should be projecting directly in front of the vehicle and not down the road. Yes. Um, also, uh, that reminds me that these are DOT approved lights. Uh, you can drive on the highway uh, on any road with these on. Um, without fear of any kind of tickets or anything else. So another pro tip is just go ahead and when you're installing the two screws, leave them a little bit loose in the beginning. Um, that way you can kind of finagle it uh, a little bit more. And before you tighten them all the way down, get out from under the vehicle if you're doing it by yourself and check to make sure they're aligned properly before you go in and tighten them all down. That way it just saves you some time and uh, adds a few steps, but saves you time in the long run. Absolutely. All right, guys, that wraps up this install. The lights came out awesome. They're super bright. I've always been impressed with Diode Dynamic. Great company. Everything you need to know from Diode Dynamic to purchase this light kit for your 4Runner will be linked in the description below, so go down there and check that out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Peace. Anything else you want to add in here? I got nothing, man. Cool.
Okay. Yeah. It's gonna itch. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do it again. <laughs> I see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you ready? Get serious. Mm. <laughs> okay. mm. Oh, mm. all right, all right. <laughs> Please. I don't want to sound too desperate. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, before we <laughs> What are you doing? Stop it. You're messing me up. I don't know how, but he is. I don't know. But... I don't know how, but he is. Yeah. We didn't have enough of bloopers, so you... <laughs> we got it all now. Oh, it's good. It's kind of okay. That's no, a... That, that was a side by side. Oh, it was a side by side? Side by side. Oh, okay. Had ditch lights. <laughs> go show me. Go show me. It's a birthday. Let me do that again. I don't know why I did that after I said next time. I know. <laughs> hey, <laughs> champ. <laughs> we will see you next time. I didn't get that. <laughs> I did it again. This Jeez. is by far our last video, okay? <laughs>